Hey everybody, I'm going to continue talking to you about the book Gung Ho. And uh, one of the, uh, so the, the next time that the department head took the new manager out, they were going to observe some beavers and um, they had to wait for it to rain, a big, a big, a lot of rain because um, they were waiting on it to rain. I guess that was going to, when it rains, it kind of damages the beavers. Um, they're, they're hot, they're damn a little bit. And it says, uh, when they went out to the camp in the woods, the beavers were working on the dam and it was in the daytime. And he, they said that the, the beavers normally work at night, but because there was significant damage, they, they, if there's a major issue, they will do what they have to do to make it, to fix it and make it right. So the beavers were working on their dam. So I'm going to tell you some things that I underlined that were that I stood up for me from the chapter, from that section of the book when they were talking about the observing the beavers. Uh, one, number one, can't meet your way to success. Number two, when they were looking at the beavers, um, the question was asked, who is in which beaver is in charge? And they said, no beavers are in charge. Every beaver is like their own boss. They're like independent contractors. Okay. Um, each beaver is in control of achieving the goal. The work has to be done the worker's way. So in, the, in this example, what they're saying is that the beavers were doing it. Each beaver was working in their own way. There wasn't like one beaver that was standing over the top of them saying, do it this, this way, do it that way. Um, it says people have to. People have to do things because they decide to, not because they're ordered to. Uh, <clears throat> people need to know. People need to know about territory. Um, you know, like what territory? Outline the territory from them for them, and then so set the limits, outline the territory, and then let the people go to work within the territory without getting in their way. Leave people alone. That's what it talks about. Find out what people do naturally and adapt to them. So find out what they do. Instead of putting them in somewhere, find out what they do and then just uh, let the, adapt it to them. It says beavers respect each other. So one beaver might be doing this, another beaver might be doing that, but as long as they're all working on the goal, they're not getting mad at each other. Beavers don't hide good things from each other. So like if, some, if a beaver finds... Something good, they, they let the other beavers know about it. They don't try to keep it a secret. They, they let everybody know. It says we need to, as managers or leaders, we need to be the boss without being bossy. Also, we have to, be, we have to expect, expect work that is possible. So we can have high expectations, but the work has, also has to be possible. It has to be something that can be completed. Um, have high expectations. Um... Don't give people, you know, don't just give them something. You know, make them work for it. It says something for nothing demeans, actually demeans people. People need to be stretched. They need to be challenged. The boss has to believe that they can win before they can win. So here's, a, here's some other things I copied. Involve your team. Share the real info. Don't be afraid to study and copy success. Pride and a common enemy can be very powerful motivators. Leave your team alone. Change equals, real change equals developing new habits. It doesn't mean fixing old habits. Good teams, all good teams have a game plan and, a, and they, they huddle. They form and talk about it. No info should be confidential. Create a happy environment. Contests are okay. And a few more things. They talked about in this section, developing a big pie approach. So develop in people the approach that, hey, there's enough for everybody at the table. You want to get rid of the, you want to get rid of the small pie approach or small pie people. These are people that believe there's not enough for everybody and they'll, they'll try to hoard what's theirs and what's there and won't try to share it with anybody else. You have to be able, as leaders, we have to be able to match work to ability. So match Workers up to match the ability up to their ability to the work. It says it talks about a canoe and it says a canoe looks really good on the shelf, 
But until that canoe is in the water and the, the rapids are hitting against it, we don't know the value or true value of a canoe until it's tested in the water. Also talked about having ongoing education opportunities. It says as a leader, if you treat people better, they will treat you better. Work to get a big pig commitment. They talked about uh, um, breakfast and how a pig um, has to, you know, uh, if they're going to be bacon, if there's going to be bacon in breakfast, that's called pig commitment because the, the pig has to give a lot in order for us to have uh, bacon for breakfast. And values have to be tested. So that was the gung-ho and that was some of the things that I learned while learning about the spirit of the beaver uh, in the book Gung Ho. Thank you.